Hi, South Point friends. What an amazing God-given adventure we've been on, especially lately. Well, standing behind me is our first permanent campus that was opened just last Christmas Eve. You know, the number one question I now get asked is, how do I like the building? And my response is always the same. Having a building is an amazing strategic resource, but we're not in the building business. South Point is in the loving people for Jesus business. From the beginning, South Point wasn't started just to be another church on the corner. It was launched with the dream of being a different kind of church, the kind of church that would reach those who had given up on God and faith, a church where those who had never been to church would feel safe and they would love to attend, a church that welcomed skeptics and outsiders and the marginalized, the kind of church where God's love for people was so compelling that we'd put aside our comfort and our preferences to be a part of a diverse community that makes Jesus famous right here in our counties. Our dream hasn't changed. We still imagine igniting an impact that creates a shockwave of Jesus-led life change that ripples for generations to come. Our adventure hasn't ended. It's just beginning. Our first year in our building has been nothing short of miraculous. God has absolutely been faithful to answer our prayers. I mean, coming out of the pandemic, we really had no idea what to expect. And then God did what only God can do. And South Point was able to have its first ever Christmas Eve services right here in our own building. And man, did people show up. And then Easter came and again, God did what only God can do, as hundreds of people said yes to Jesus. Just a month or so later, God did what only God can do as almost 80 people were baptized on one Sunday. And whether it's the baby dedications in May or student summer camp in June or our fall launch, God has been doing what only God can do. Many of you have personally seen the examples of lives being changed right here in our new building. But South Point's impact isn't a new thing. We've been serving our communities for Jesus for almost two decades now and we have a history full of locations and of stories. Long before South Point had its first permanent home, we were portable for 17 years as a church. Now, right after the pandemic, South Point rented out RC theaters right behind me. Because our mission mattered, many of you served and sacrificed so we would have a space for people to see Jesus. Before we were in the theaters, we met digitally online for 53 Sundays. And again, many of you served and sacrificed. There, there'd be a space for people to see Jesus. And before that, we actually launched a campus out in Lusby at Patuxent High School, where again, many of you did the same thing. You decided to show up and sacrifice. So South Point would have a place where people could see that there's a God who loves them. And before Lusby, there was Leonardtown High School, where many of you served and sacrificed so that we would create space for people to see a God who is all in for them. And all the way back at the beginning, it started at Southern Maryland Higher Education Center, now called the University System of Southern Maryland. It was a snowy Sunday, January of 2005, where a group of people stepped up and they served and they sacrificed so that there'd be a safe space for people to see Jesus. You see, our mission to connect the disconnected to Christ to community, and to a cause worth living and dying for, well, that's never changed, and it will never, ever change. I'm here on site at South Point's after-school program in Lexington Park. You see, no matter the space or no matter the season, there's been one constant at our church. Because people matter deeply to God, they matter deeply to us. To us, it's more than a saying. We believe that loving people in practical ways makes the invisible love of God real in everyday people's lives. It's why we do things like financially support other local organizations like CareNet Pregnancy Center. It's why we partner with WARM during the winter to care for our homeless community. It's why we do backpack drives at the start of every school year. It's why we partner with Elevate Guatemala. It's why we even have a Stephen ministry to walk alongside people in difficult seasons of their lives. It's why we help deliver food with SMILE. It's why we even have this building to run the after-school program to partner with what God is already doing here in this community. You see, not only is God using South Point to impact our community outside the building, 
God is doing amazing and gracious things by answering our prayers to use our first permanent campus as we continue to use and create Jesus-led life change. Our first permanent campus didn't just happen. It's the result of years of prayer, years of planning, and years of financial generosity. Your sacrificial giving has created space for people to see Jesus, and well, God has blessed it. South Point is busting at the seams as we've experienced rapid growth in the last nine months. The lobby, it's become a place of connection and conversations. Our auditorium is a safe space to experience God's love and His practical wisdom for our lives. There are roughly 100 new visitors every month as attendance has swelled. At the second service at South Point, we've almost run out of parking spaces. It's gotten so tight that we had to create extra volunteer parking just to make room for our guests. And here's what's mind-blowing and also heartwarming, is the explosive growth that's taken place in our children's ministry. It's almost tripled. Before we got into our building, we were around 100 kids on a Sunday. And when we got into the building, it was almost 200 kids. And this fall, we're at almost 300 kids. Did you know that the average church in America is 95 people? That means our kids' ministry is triple the average size of a church in America. Now you probably already know this, but at South Point, we don't believe that kids should get second-class service, but instead, they deserve world-class love and care. This rapid growth in Jesus-led life change is a gift that can only come from God. It's a privilege to be a part of this grand adventure that God has us on. However, South Point's blessing comes with the responsibility. You see, our mission won't allow us to ignore opportunities that can help people see Jesus or avoid the challenges that could keep people from knowing Jesus. You know, in 2 Corinthians 5.14, we kind of find what South Point's all about. It says this, it says, For Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, therefore all died. You see, at South Point, it's never been about a building or a brand. It's been about making Jesus beautiful to the world around us. And this is where I want to personally invite you to join us in this journey South Point's about to take, called Ignite Impact. It's where we at South Point do what we've always done. We serve and we sacrifice so that people can continue to see Jesus. I'm excited and passionate about the next phase of South Point's adventure that God has put before us. I truly believe that our best days are not behind us, but ahead of us. The opportunity that we face could ignite an impact that creates Jesus-led life change for generations to come, all because we said yes in this important moment. Now, as Grandma used to say right before dessert, hold on to your fork, for the best is yet to come. <laughs>